It was another busy week for me, but I didn't want to miss another episode. Unfortunately, I didn't have time over the week to write up something like I normally would, but I did have a few short topics in my idea pile, and I thought, hey, why not just combine them into one episode? So here it goes. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. So why have I been so busy over the last couple of weeks? As some of you know, my day job is that of a programmer for a small western Oklahoma company. And I've been assigned the task to learn how to program an Arduino and an ESP8266. (laughs) Both use roughly the same code set. Now, (laughs) many of you won't even know what I'm talking about. That's okay. Broadly, an Arduino is a small electronic project board that can be programmed to read from and control various electronic devices. Just one tiny example would be if I were to attach a thermometer to the Arduino, I'd write some code so when it reaches a certain degree, it turns on a fan. Now you can do much, much more than that. Like I said, that's just a tiny example. The ESP8266, or as my boss likes to call it, an ESP, (laughs) it's similar to an Arduino, but it's much smaller and has a built-in Wi-Fi. Um, It's ideal for home automation tasks, like uh, turning on lights or controlling a thermostat remotely over the internet. So I've been digging through all the documentation, watching videos, searching for code examples, and anything I can find on the subject. Plus, I'm planning and developing all the projects we're going to be using these with, on top of the tech support, data management, etc. my job requires of me. As you, I'm sure you can understand, I've been busy. (laughs) I have to say, though, it's been fun. It's part of one of the reasons why I became a programmer in the first place. Uh, If you'd like to know more about an Arduino, I'll put a link to it in the show notes. At some point last week, someone east of where I live decided to dig a hole. And those people managed to cut a fiber optic cable. And this particular cable provided the AT&T phone service for much of central west Oklahoma. (laughs) For an entire day, we did not have phone service. Both landline and wireless were out. So, as you can imagine, business was disrupted quite a bit. Now, luckily, it didn't affect internet service for many of us, and we communicated through Hangouts and Skype and Facebook Messenger. So, the internet, for the win that day. (laughs) This makes a great reminder for us here in Oklahoma. You need to call Oki before you dig. You need to find out about any buried utility lines before you dig. Call Oki is a free service. There is no charge to the excavator or homeowner. Just notify Call Oki 48 hours, two business days before you dig by dialing 811 or 1 800 522 Oki or submit a web ticket at calloki.com. Remember, before you dig, call Oki. On some of what free time I've had at home, I've been binge-watching a cartoon called Rick and Morty. I have not seen this show up until this last week. Currently, it's in Season 2 on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim. Wow, is it good. Underneath the humor is a really dark and deep storyline progressing. I'm just hooked. (laughs) I really like this show. It's a sci-fi adventure and a really dark comedy with some adult themes. The main characters are Rick, the uh, scientist grandfather, and his grandson sidekick, Morty. Now, if they look familiar, they are modeled after Doc Brown and Marty McFly from the movie Back to the Future. The similarity ends there. (laughs) Now, I don't want to spoil anything by going into further describing the show. I think the best way I could describe it is to uh, think of it as Doctor Who with the safeties off. (laughs) You can watch Season 1 on Hulu, and you can watch Seasons 1 and 2 on the Adult Swim website or from the Adult Swim app. Please, go watch it. I would love to hear your thoughts on Rick and Morty. Just love that show. I thought it would be great to do a Q&A episode of the Blog Oklahoma podcast. 
So I'm asking for questions. I'm open to any blogging, podcasting, writing, blog Oklahoma, or Oklahoma questions you might have. But really, ask me anything. If I can answer your question, it'll be a part of a future Q&A episode. I've put a form up at blogoklahoma.net, so please just fill that out, and when I reach enough questions I can answer, I'll do an episode. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma Podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of August 16th, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 887 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.